Welcome back to another episode of Luke Kang Kicking It, guys. I am Luke Kang, and today we are kicking it with good friend and comedian Aaron Monte. Aaron Monte, how you doing today, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. How was the uh, how's traffic, dog? It was horrible, man. Yeah. It was horrible. I'll say this. Uh, you know that I'm a, a real friend because <laughs> I left when it said I was going to get here in 45 minutes, and it took like an hour and a half. Yeah. And I was like, damn. I was tempted to turn around, but I was like, you know what? We're making it for Lou. I appreciate We're that. It. I appreciate that. <laughs> also, that would you would hit me up like twenty times to do this, and I was like, I gotta yeah. go at some point. Yeah, you know I mean, I gotta make it. Can't avoid me forever, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, no, dude. Honestly, I've had moments like that where I'm like, should I turn back? And I always regret turning back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've had moments where I'm like, I'm just going to drive off the freeway right now. Actually. Right, right. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm just going to, what if I just turn? That's called commuting. <laughs> yeah, That's every day. Just, yeah, every yeah, single day, you're bro. Right, you're right. Yeah, I, I live kind of far from here. Not as far as you do, but uh, right. I live kind of far from here. So every day I'm just like, should I look for a new place to record? <laughs> or like, what's up? <laughs> But no, this is actually uh, yeah. a really good spot. Let me I might as, since we're here. Yeah. Uh yeah. Founder Space is where we're recording at Founder Space Studios. Founder Space, yeah, okay, shout yeah. out to them for yeah. letting us stay here and record. Uh Nice. And uh yeah, if you ever need to record any podcast, anything like that, hit up Founder Space. Wow. That is my one sponsored ad for the day yeah, and that is great. it. That was great. That's it. I I, I respect that. Thank it was you. a good segue into it too. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I hate that. You ever yeah. um I was talking about this with Kyle last episode um do you ever do you ever like finally catch on like because with podcasts there's certain people they can do it pretty well where you're like <laughs> halfway through you're like oh this is an ad <laughs> motherfucker god yeah, damn it yeah yeah, you yeah sick those are bastard. funny those are good i like my favorite is a uh, uh, drewski on his youtube channel will sometimes uh, in the middle of nowhere just have a prize picks fucking ad. that is hilarious <laughs> and it's and it's filmed better than the actual show for some reason right like, it'll be right. regular like one camera and then once it gets to the prize picks it's like different angles and shit he's like prize picks like looking at a different camera so i'm like what I the th- hell i think honestly that's just like one of those all right we're taking a saturday <laughs> Yeah. We're filming all our yeah. shit and that's yeah. it. Right. We're, and we're just inserting it. Right, right. Yeah. It's just super lazy. Yeah. But I honestly kind of respect it. Yeah, same. You, you, know? The hustle. you, you know when to skip. It's, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just going to fast forward through this for like two minutes. Yeah, I'm the video looks, looks better. Minutes. So let's skip. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, do yeah. that to us, by the way. <laughs> when we get ads, don't do that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, listen to the advertising. Yeah. yeah. Listen to this ad, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, right. man. But yo, Aaron, it's been it's been a while, dog. I know. Um, what was the last time we were sitting down with microphones and headphones together? Oh man, um, probably at the old Pink House Studios. We probably did you and Sean were doing. Oh, we had you with Run the Fools. Run the Fools on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That was the last time we did that. Right, right. Uh, one at my roast. Um. You had said that we we've been through multiple <laughs> failures together, and they <laughs> yeah. were bonded by failure. Yes, yes. Uh, uh-huh. Have you had any other recent failures, and how do you deal with that? Have I had any other recent failures? I guess so. I feel like there's like little mini failures every day. Yeah. Um, not getting into like different uh f- festivals for comedy. Uh, did you did you get a rejection letter from that festival that nobody applied to that's but got thing, rejections from? That's the thing. I applied and didn't even get a rejection letter. <laughs> that is a, that's how you know you really just, fucking <laughs> ate it, bro. I just knew. I was like, I I was waiting for it, and I was like, well, I, well, it would it would have been nice to get a rejection, you know, but uh. Right. I just knew when I saw the lineup, I was like, okay, guess it didn't make it. Guess I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on, on this that, one. I'm not on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see my name. <laughs> There's a few other ones too that I didn't get into this year, but um, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess those were I can I consider um anytime I'm not doing what I need to do a failure. Okay. Every day. See, that's that's what I was gonna say is like um active failure. Yeah. So much nicer. Right. Than passive failure. Right. Which yeah. is like yeah. You're playing Madden. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know what I mean? And you're not setting out to play Madden, but that's just, you find yourself yeah. on a good Madden binge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, exactly. I, I, um, other than, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to, what, what I consider a failure. I mean, I guess every day that I'm not as famous as I want to be, I'm failing in ah. my head. 
Yeah. But that's just me, like, that's, in like a, in my own, you know. Everyone's yeah, yeah, got of that, course. They got that voice in the back well, of their head. If that's the, if that's the bar, yeah. you'll always be <laughs> Yeah, failing. exactly. You're I'm never going to be satisfied. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right. Because that's what I was going to say about that. It's like a f- funny question. Like, hey, what's your most recent failure? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. But I don't have, yeah. I don't see failure like that as like um a negative yeah me neither i don't either i I see it as um yeah it's it's i don't want to say a bunch of cliches right now but you know what everyone says there's lessons and losses and all that like uh you know and even like growth and all that stuff and you know, the opportunities to do other things, which right. I, that's the best part of failing is that, like, oh, I could just do something else now. It's like, you, I, know? you know what it reminds me of kind of like going out for something like, like trying to book a role or book a, a show or something yeah. and you don't get it. Yeah. It's like trying to holler at a, at like a 10. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, where right. like even if she rejects right. you, yeah. you like you look back at your homies, you're like, she fucking said, she fucking hated <laughs> yeah. me, bro. She was not going for that shit at right. all. Right, at least you found out. Yeah, that's all that really matters is if you find out. That that's exactly. half the fun. Yeah, exactly. It's like bombing exactly. when you when you're comfortable. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, because right. there's like when you first start out doing stand up, like if you bomb, you're like I. Suck. Oh, they don't, I'm, they don't. I'm worth nothing. Yeah, when you're new, I've had new comics now, like they're like trying to get in and like. I mean, kind of, they've been kind of asked me for advice and stuff throughout their, you know, them kind of doing their journey. And then they hit me up the other day. They were like, uh, and this is the homie. I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if I, he wants me to say his name. Or name like, right now. Where I, does I, he, I want, where does he perform <laughs> at? Yeah. Where does he live? What is his <laughs> yeah, social security yeah. number? No, um, no, that's the homie. But he like, uh, you know, he hit me up. He was like, you ever bomb? And I was like, oh yeah, bro. Like, yeah, of course. All of us do. Like, everyone mm-hmm. does. It's unavoidable. Like no right. matter what level, every, someone, everyone's going to bomb at some point in time. I was just listening to, uh another podcast today and it was like two very famous comedians talking yeah. about like having the time of their lives talking about shitty gigs that they did <laughs> yeah and that's what i was kind of telling them I, I told him i was like i was like look man because he was like i just bombed for the first time and it sucks and i was like it's not it's not like, look bad. put the gun down I was, <laughs> I was like, it'll be all right man it's gonna happen <laughs> unplug the times. toaster right now yeah, dude yeah, get yeah, out yeah. the bath get out the bathtub <laughs> yeah no it's it's I, I, I was telling them that i was like and sometimes you it's fun sometimes like if you're with yeah. a bunch of comedians that you're also friends with and they also see you bombing that could be fun sometimes yeah you know what i mean like sometimes it's just funny you're like and they bring it up like a week good. later yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> or right after the set yeah yeah but like even and then sometimes the comedians will be the only one laughing which is also funny as hell i don't know i'm yeah. not sure what's so funny about that but like there's something about failing in front of everyone and having to keep going and there's, that's why i think it's funny sometimes one of my first like epic bombs ever yeah uh, uh there was like I didn't realize how bad I was doing <laughs> until I heard just Cappuccino Brown in the back just <laughs> laughing his ass off, bro. Yeah, that was those moments. And I felt like it felt like Eddie Murphy in, in Nutty Professor. <laughs> yeah. He's just yeah, like heckling yeah. me with yeah, his yeah. laugh. <laughs> He's like, sure, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're fucking bombing right now. <laughs> That's so funny. And th- that took me over the edge, bro. Uh, like, yeah. I exploded. <laughs> I became so hateful yeah. at the crowd, at every at the other comics. I was like, fuck everyone, dog. Oh my god. My favorite thing is to lean into bombing. I love to I love like just being like, all right, we're here now. Yeah. Let's just keep going. We're gonna keep driving. Now like, we're bombing. Now we're bombing. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I posted a, a, a clip of me bombing one time because oh, I was yeah? Just, yeah, just cause like it was fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> like like if i wasn't me yeah i'd be like this is hilarious dog <laughs> i want to do a uh uh i want to do a bombing special i mean that's just called a joe rogan special to be honest no, right I, right <laughs> damn you can edit that out yeah yeah the, I'll cut the it. comedy worry, gods are you know yeah. just blank the, the name out because yeah funny. yeah facts um <laughs> 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 the sentence is still funny yeah yeah it is but um no, no i couldn't resist um facts. no yeah i do I, I feel like that'd be kind of funny i don't know i feel like now would in now's age and of comedy now would be the perfect time to do a bombing special right because people like eat that up yeah for whatever reason because people like different things now every couple years um like Maybe like every ten years, yeah. comedy gets to a point where like it's so popular, <laughs> right? That it becomes like a joke of itself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like people started doing. Remember, alt comedy was yeah, like right, popping in twenty ten, right, and you're right. like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And now, like, we're back at that like twenty <laughs> years later or ten years later, and it's like we're doing crowd work yeah. only a crowd work special yeah, right, You're right, like right. all right all right. right i feel like i feel like if someone were to cut a compilation of a bunch of their bombs throughout the year 
I feel like that would go crazy I, on I YouTube. Would, I would watch that I would for watch sure. It, I would watch it too, probably. After bombing? <laughs> That, that would make me unplug the toaster. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think it would be more. I think if I had a bad night of bombing and I went home and watched like someone's bombing compilation. Oh yeah, I'd be like, it's everything's gonna be okay. Life ain't so bad. <laughs> it's not so bad. Yeah. yeah, exactly. At least I'm not that guy. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I feel it, man. I feel it. So yeah, the last time we did this, we were with Run the Fools. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. how how is the other fool? You are one half of Run the, the fools, fools that right. be running. Right. It's true. How's the other fool? He's good. He's doing good. I just yeah. I just saw him yesterday. Um. Yeah, we're supposed to drop the next album literally any day now. I might go over to his house after. I leave so here. I don't know when it's coming. Yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah, right, right. Whenever it feels like I it's mean, ready. We were supposed to be done like a year ago. Right. Um. We weren't ready. Obviously. And then yeah. we kind of we we got everything for the most part done. And I think this year, like Tommy's been out of town and all kind of stuff, so um, we're trying to figure out timing to finish everything up. And then we finally finished, and then I was trying to get it out in July. Um, and then we were waiting on the album cover. So now, like everything's done now. We have the album cover. We have everything else. So um, I might just go over to Scrape after I leave here because he's nearby and uh, word and upload it. I'll, I'm gonna try to upload it and try to get it out by either Friday or next Friday. You know, they won't they won't know. Yeah, Yo, who knows? yeah. It, this is coming out next Wednesday. So. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, then it uh, might be this Friday. Hey, it might be out. <laughs> it might be out right now. Or it, give it a few days. You <laughs> yeah, never yeah, exactly. know. Dude. Just wait. Just be patient. One, one of yeah. the two. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been good though. I'm excited for it. It's how's How's the uh the new album? Like, what is um? Do you guys have a concept? Is it because I know you guys are very you guys like to play with the idea of concepts and yeah yeah uh, yeah that's a good question. Um, I uh, it's called Fool Me Twice is the name of the album um i hate it but i love it <laughs> yeah right it's the second it's the second uh full run the fools album yeah and then um yeah i mean i guess the concept is um i don't know it, it i'll tell i'll tell you like the, the the pattern of it like it really starts off you know us kind of the songs are like uh us kind of messing around okay for us like it, they all tell stories all of it's a story thing like us kind of being like single dudes who are out in the streets and like you know kind of messing around doing you're getting the silly scenarios and stuff um, then it kind of gets into a story where we stop fooling around and then we get with women that we like and that's, okay. you know, kind of get, gets into songs of the things that we like. And then at the end of the, by the end of the album, you know, we kind of fall back into our old ways and mess up the things that we gained. So get fooling and then, ourselves. And then you fool yourself fool, twice. Fool ourselves huh? twice. Now, that's what's you know? up, man. I yeah, like that. This is the first time I've ever explained that to anybody. That's what's up. So, yeah, yeah. so there is like an overarching. A, oh, there is a whole story. story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's right. a whole like you know our own our own uh, uh, issues is what is what ends up destroying us at the end of the album. I guess. Word. Yeah. That's fucking tight, man. Yeah, I yeah. like the last album. The last album was cool. Um, Thank you, man. Yeah, of course. There was a yeah. uh, one song that like was funny. Yeah. But I fucking cried to it. Which one was it? She cheating on me. <laughs> Just the yeah, that was an interlude. That wasn't even a full song. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That was a fucking good one because it just like it gave me like uh, Hank Williams vibes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know you guys were joking around. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you yeah, guys were yeah. fooling around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. But the music, yeah, of course. Yeah. But the music sounded very like mature and like yeah. actually like yeah. this is what you guys do <laughs> right i mean i'm but really it was that's, just an interview. that's my favorite thing that i've made or that we made on that album that's oh, my word. favorite song and i'm not I'm, I'm just doing the background vocals i'm literally just doing tommy singing and playing the guitar and it's just me doing filling in the rest of the background vocals but it's still my favorite thing that we made on the album for some reason yeah i just think it sounds so different from anything else we did on that right and even now so i don't know there's something about things that are just different i'm just yeah, like just yeah, like I'm the guitar on it everything yeah, is, yeah, yeah pretty nice yeah, yeah 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 pretty nice do you have a do you have a favorite song from your last album Ooh, um favorite song from my last album where's my lighter is one that connects to everyone the most right i'm not gonna say it's my favorite but i know that's the one that is what his hit hardest for everybody everybody like now if i even mention a lighter everyone goes ah, where's my lighter? Uh, like, that's like, the don't thing. don't i i can't say the words where's my lighter genuinely because everyone's yeah, like yeah, ah yeah. you don't know your lighter but uh that's the song that everyone seems to like a lot um and is drawn to which was actually i think it was the first song we or second song we really even made or finished to yeah put out um and then i guess uh catch me if you can is probably like really high up there okay catch me mccann's like that the vibes of that song is so peaceful you just feel like you're like on an island or some shit all right and it's about a woman draining all of your money (laughs) 
as they do. And then you and you and you going along with it. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's 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 the whole song. I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. I like good shit. Oh, good shit. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I like, I like the saxophone. Wow, the Neil Gosh saxophone. Yep. Shout out to Neil Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Yeah, that that's fire, man. I I, I haven't heard anyone say that. It's so crazy you say that because I I'm not gonna. I'll say that's my least favorite of all the songs we made. I, but never Tommy mind. loves that's it. That's not my favorite. No, no, no. no, no I'm just I'm kidding. Gonna, no, no, please don't. <laughs> no, uh, Tommy loves that one, and then I, you know, I, I like it. I, I like it too. I don't dislike it, but you know, I fucking um, hate that. If song, I had to no, rank it, it would be lower on there. And like, and like yeah. the intro, but the intro is like not even really a song. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm glad you said that because. You know, every time someone says they like that song, I'm like, all right, well, that's another vote of confidence. Not that I don't like go. it, but you know, yeah. it's one of those things. If He's I not your favorite child. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the I imagine child. that's how my mother feels about me. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. doing his thing. He's doing yeah. his thing. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. I got to worry exactly. about him or nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Um, well, how about this, this album? You got a favorite song, this album? This album? My favorite song. It's probably, hmm, I think it's it's already out. Insecurities is probably my favorite song. Damn, that's so funny because like I was gonna be like, and we have a snippet right here. <laughs> Stole that shit. I I think Insecurities is my favorite song. And, okay, and well. I don't know if I feel differently um, when the when the album comes out. I okay, might, it might change, but I just I feel like Insecurities we hit like a really nice pocket, and the fact that it's already out and people like it, and like that was kind of like. Mm. The one video of ours that everyone was kind of going to once we got shouted out by I, I shouldn't even say who shouted us out. You can blink all this out anyway. It's any name that I say. Okay. Um, <laughs> you don't have to. But like Cody Co, you know that is YouTuber. Nah, <laughs> I didn't know it was either. But shout out to him. I bro. wasn't. Well, don't shout out to him. He got like allegations recently. <laughs> oh, never mind. Fuck that fool. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But I would have agreed with you a few months ago. Like in January, yeah. he like apparently he's a big YouTuber and like yeah. he shouted out. I guess Tommy had did another Jubilee video. Um, oh, okay. And uh, and he was the host of it, and so like Tommy had mentioned, run the fools on that on that episode, and I guess uh, he does his own reaction videos to Jubilee videos. Oh, okay. And so okay. so he was doing the reaction, and then he like shouted us out. He was like, "Yo, they they cut out the name of their his group, but it's run the fools. Check him out. They're funny." Oh, and, that's like, sick. And the beginning of the year, like everyone started watching insecurities, and like a bunch of people were commenting. That's on the tight, video, man. like, "Yo, I came from Cody Co." Um, and like people were hitting us up, like Cody Co mentioned. Oh, I don't even know who that is. Man. Right. <laughs> I have no clue who right. this dude is. And, and we'll 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 go we'll keep it on record that he doesn't <laughs> yeah, know who he is. I don't know. Him. I don't know this man. <laughs> and then like literally like a couple months ago, he got allegations. I told, I had to tell Tommy, I was like, "Yo, this fool got allegations." The guy that's crazy. Who put? It was trying to put us on <laughs> that like that Lou that Lou Ratchet video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, they yeah. caught your man. Yeah, they they caught they your man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. Damn, that sucks. That's why I don't want nobody to shout out my shit. I only want people with less than two thousand followers shouting out my shit, yeah, exactly. bro. Exactly. If I can get like two hundred exactly. small fish, better than the big fish because right. these big fish be raping, bro. Right. Hey, true. The big fish do be raping. What's up with that? I don't know, dog. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what happens there. Well, I'm happy I'm in a relationship. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. Just fucking, we're chilling. Everything's good. We we got it yeah. locked down yeah, under wraps. It's all yeah. for sure. We yep. Know yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I feel that, man. Um. But yeah, I'm excited for the new album. Though. It should be should be dope. Yeah, that's sick. Out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's funny, bro. The fucking big fish, man. Uh, <laughs> a couple a couple episodes ago, we had Leonard Smith on. Yeah, yeah. And he's he was talking about he did a commercial <laughs> with as Diddy? Diddy's with, assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, that's just crazy. Like, man. That just sucks, man. Yeah, right. You're like, this is gonna be my big break. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he thought maybe he could like get like you know, do and a maybe bunch of commercials. I could, yeah, yeah, maybe we could be a partnership, you know, like like Jake from State Farm and Chris Paul or something. Yeah, <laughs> like, man. they could have done something. It's actually Damn. a huge fear of mine. It's <laughs> yeah. like working with somebody, and then they just like <laughs> get in yeah, or bro, and you just got to be like, look, I don't know him <laughs> they like that. Him. I didn't know he was <laughs> like that, bro. Uh, Dude, imagine how Joe Rogan felt when that stuff happened with James Franco, man. Oh, because right. they're not even Seth cool Rogan. No more. So what did I say? What did I say? You said Joe Rogan. I keep saying that. You're trying to man. take this man down, bro. I like what the Joe fuck Rogan is too. <laughs> 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 no, I meant Seth Rogan. Seth Rogan yeah, yeah. is a uh, yeah, like he's a uh, because they're not even cool no more. Yeah, and like imagine that feeling. That's crazy. Like that's like they were friends since like tw- thirteen. Half of me is like. Why you switch up on your boy? But half of me is like, I get it. I th- yeah, I th- yeah, yeah. I think I he tried it. to stand by him. 
yeah for a while he was like i don't really know you know what's going yeah. on you know and then uh uh then i guess eventually I guess it was the just story just evidence. got worse yeah just worse. overwhelming evidence like, i can't i can't i can't say yeah. anything now you know i guess i guess no. we <laughs> yeah. i guess pineapple express 2 ain't happening bro <laughs> right, Fuck. Right, right. God, damn it. yeah man <laughs> yeah man. that's, that's so hilarious man. man um so I noticed, uh, you know, it's you know, I like to keep tabs on everyone. Speaking of, you know, big breaks and everything, mm-hmm. phenomenon, bro. <laughs> you went viral a few times, dog. Yeah, I went like twice. Yeah, in the, in a month, which was cool. How was that? It was nice. Like, what's the feeling? Um, you went viral recently too. Yeah, it. I it guess it. It doesn't. I mean. It was nice getting jumping like a thousand followers. Did did you? Yeah, that's that was pretty, nice. That's pretty cool. That's that was nice. Yeah. Did you? Uh, did you have to check yourself a little bit of like how <laughs> excited you got? I I not really. I mean, first of all, shout out Ray Lau because yeah. without him and his followers, it probably wouldn't have popped off the way it did. Maybe it would have. I Maybe think, it would have. I think what it is is just the, like once in a while. Yeah, you yeah, post yeah. it at like the right time, right? About the and then right something thing. goes crazy, and then yeah. it was anime, so it was like yeah, there's a huge, mm-hmm. you know, audience for that. Um, and it was a funny sketch, a sketch. I mean, um, but yeah, but like I do, I mean, I keep. I don't think he likes me saying it, but like I do credit be, do, having worked with like Ray Lau and Kyle because the other video I did with Kyle that same month went viral. Okay, on like I don't, it didn't even go viral on uh, on instagram technically it was on it was like the facebook views you ever see that like sometimes like uh, videos yeah. will just go on facebook on yeah, instagram yeah. i'm not sure how it even works but like um yeah but like shout out to them because you know working with them is a blessing because they actually have a following so i actually they, right people see my videos mm-hmm. um but yeah it was cool i didn't really feel i didn't really feel super ex- i felt excited but i didn't feel um like I was getting big headed, I just felt pressure to do it again. That, okay, that's what I was gonna. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was really leaning towards. Was, <laughs> yeah, not yeah, like yeah, big headed, yeah. but you have right. to like be like, all right, don't start chasing this yeah, high now. Right, right. I yeah, because it's because like I I did we did me and Ray's went crazy, and then me and Kyle did like three of the sports ones. Like one of them did like a hundred k, did like three hundred k, and then like then a mill. And I was like, all right, cool, I'm on a roll right now. Yeah, dope. So then I tried to do videos by myself, like two of them, not the same dog, result. <laughs> not the same result. That shit hurts. <laughs> Bro, I also got a thousand views. I was struggling for that, and yeah. I was like, "Oh man!" Like back yeah, to yeah. the bottom, it is. Like, yeah, guess. bro, yeah, yeah man. it's like a small version of like what Louis went through. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You're like, "Fuck!" Now I gotta play clubs again. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> now I gotta do yeah, Thursday man. night again, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's so funny. That's that's something. Uh, that's kind of what I was trying to get at because definitely I felt the same way. Yeah, where I'm like. Yeah. Easily, yeah. I could just become the reaction video right, guy. Right, 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 if right. If I don't fucking check myself right now, <laughs> you know. It, I mean, it's. A, I mean, yeah, I can see. You did do a reaction just for a while after yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, because why not? I mean, if that's what it was working, why not keep doing it? But at the same time, if it's if you want to do other things, that kind of puts you in a I don't a little pigeonhole. I, I don't want to do something that feels like work. Yeah. For Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. This podcast, I'll work my ass off. Yeah. Because it's something I want to do. Right, I'd like to do this for possibly forever. Right. Making fucking uh, reaction videos. Yeah. I got like two weeks of patience before (laughs) I hit like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm like looking for videos to react to. Right, yeah. All this shit. It's like. Yes, yeah. It's not as fun. It's not fun anymore. I'm good, bro. Yeah, I feel that. I like when someone hits me with a meme and I'm like, oh. (laughs) That's the one right there. Right, I got right. something to say about this one. <laughs> right, right. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. um, like I'll be scrolling, and like that's how I pick my videos to mm-hmm. react to. I'll be scrolling, mm-hmm. and immediately I'm just like, oh. <laughs> and when I get that feeling, oh, yeah, yeah, that's how I know. Like, all right, I gotta stop and <laughs> yeah, make a right, video right. on this one. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny, man. Yeah, yeah I feel that. Have yeah. you like? For me, I realize like that's. Have you found your voice as far as like, um, I know you have your voice on stage. Mm-hmm. Like you have like Mr. Monte and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, but as far as like your online presence, like have have you figured out like what, what part of your personality people like or like what, mm. what it is that people are like mm. attracted to? Not really, man. Not gonna lie. I mean, I, I I can't. I guess I'll say it in a way like I haven't found out what videos are like the perfect groove for me to like 
you know, get, ah, okay. you know, to like, you that know, pocket. You, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I think that people like my voice. Um, I can see that people like my voice the most. Like that was like one of the comments that people kept saying under the, you know, the video of me and Ray. Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing is, is my voice. I, th- and I should use it more to be honest. Motherfuckers love a deep voice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I should use it more often. I should even like, you know, I can figure it out in some way, like how to use it somehow. But, um, right. That's like the biggest thing that people say. I, uh, other than that, I haven't found like a good pocket for uh, like stand up clips aren't going crazy. Right. You know, like some people like are able to get a stand up stand up clip popping and then like just do stand up clips. Um, and Lucky then, but, like, but I'm like doing yeah. everything possible S- skits, mm-hmm. you know, music videos, you know, stand up. I'm like, I'm just trying things. Something's going to hit. Yeah. I, Something's a couple gotta reactions, hit. I'm like, yeah. just keep trying different stuff and see what sticks. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I think skits are probably might be it at the end of the day. Yeah, because like I think of, that's what everybody. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of like blows up on is right like the random right dumb little skit. You'd right. be surprised how many fools, um, like you see them on like some random viral video. Yeah, and you go to their page yeah. and you're like, oh, you do stand up. <laughs> yeah, right, right, yeah. Gotcha. All the time. Honestly, I feel that way about everything now like if you watch the uh, tv you might see somebody and then be like and you know first of all you might see people you like everyone you know yeah in right, the same right, show right. Mm-hmm. or there might people might be like, like what in the fuck did this casting yeah, girl yeah, come yeah, out exactly, bro what the exactly. hell and then there's some like and then there's sometimes you'll be watching like a reality show or something and then like one of the contestants and then you look up the contestant and he's a comedian and i'm like oh yeah. everybody everybody is comedians book out this here. motherfucker right quick <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah let me get him on the show real quick yeah yeah uh yeah everybody's fucking doing it yeah it's mm-hmm. funny as hell it's like uh um, and this is like I I have a problem with this, um, of I guess like I just I'm like a hipster or I just like the hard road. Mm-hmm. But like as soon as something comes too popular, I'm like fuck, do I even want to do this anymore? <laughs> same, I'm gonna feel the same way. I'm not even unique anymore, dog. <laughs> like, well, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw you get popping off of reaction videos, I think you and like a couple other people like popped off off of reaction videos in that same like. Time yeah, frame. like month, and then like Sam Skolnick, who had already like kind of started popping off on TikTok from his videos, um, just brought all his videos over to Instagram. And was just like, let me just get my followers up. Yeah, and then his blew up eventually. Um, and then I was kind of like, should I just do reaction videos? <laughs> then I was like, is that what the key is? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. do I, is that what I have to the, do? Like, <laughs> you know, the key to making it in stand up, dog, yeah, is having good reaction videos <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> Anyone who wants to make it yeah. in stand up, dog, just have good reaction videos, yeah. homie. Oh my god, yeah, man. I was literally like, maybe that's what I have to do now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nah, it's 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 tough, bro. Yeah, it's like I asked I asked this uh, with with Kyle the other day too. I was like, f- how much of you? Because we were talking about uh, crowd work, mm-hmm. people just posting crowd work mm-hmm. clips all day, and yeah. you know, like. And, like, editing your videos to, you know, where they are, like, 60 seconds and palatable yeah. and all this shit. And I'm like, how much of you does this because you're like, oh, this is, uh like, I like to do this and this is part mm. of the game and I'll do it. And how much of you is, like, I fucking hate that I have to do this <laughs> right now, but I will do it. I used to hate it more until this year. Okay. And, honestly, I credit uh, – my videos even doing even remotely well based off just like I, this year I literally challenged myself. I was like, I got to post once a week. So there's some gotcha. weeks, there's some weeks where I got something where I'm like, Ooh, I'm really excited to post this. And there's other weeks where I have nothing and I'm like, I got to figure out what to post. You right. Know what I mean? And that's when I hate it. That's when I'm like, uh, I got to yeah. figure out what I'm going to post. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make something up and shoot it real quick. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, but if I have something, then I'm like, I really like it. And then I'm like really hopeful. Mm-hmm. And then I post it and then it does whatever. But you know, um, it's always yeah. the ones that you care about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That it's always the ones you're like, oh, it's going to hit, and then it yeah. does not hit no. at all. Yeah, you can you can never predict it. Yep. You can literally and never predict it. And then you're just like talking shit about <laughs> some fucking thing <laughs> yeah, you yeah. saw, and it just blows up. <laughs> right, right. All of, my, all of my viral videos are just me talking shit about somebody's <laughs> like art. <laughs> yeah, the internet thighs off of negativity. I've been negative towards... You know, Joe Rogan, this whole thing. Oh, I know, bro. This shit's about to pop, <laughs> dog. This shit's about to go, homie. Oh, my God. But I, yeah, but yeah, but it's, but that's, but that, the negativity is what people thought about. And that's yeah. really what it is. Um, I kind of hate that. I do too. I do too. It makes my life because a little bit me, easier. Because like, even me, like, I'm talking shit. I don't even, first of all, I've only met Joe Rogan like once or twice. Right. And like, but I also think he's doing really a lot of good stuff in the community. 
Yeah. Know, regardless of how people feel about his stand up. But it's just funny. Podcast. It's just his, funny to talk shit. Yeah, but it's funny to talk shit. And that's just yeah. the whole thing. And it's mm-hmm. funny to like regurgitate things that people be saying. You know what I mean? Like, right. Um, it's just fun to, you know. Have you ever done that? Show. You ever like caught yourself um, like making a point? <laughs> that you don't actually really like <laughs> yeah actually believe yeah I'm yeah just saying it but just you're just because. like this sounds funny bro <laughs> yeah, this yeah, shit, all the time it's just gonna go all dog. the time like yeah. i just like i just said i imagine my mom doesn't like me i'm pretty sure i'm my mom's favorite right child. right right <laughs> like, i'm exactly. like almost i'm almost 100 certain i'm a, my mom's favorite child shout out my brother and sister but uh um <laughs> <Gotta throw laughs> yeah but like right i got it but i gotta say that i'm not you know it's mm-hmm. just it's just funny to do yeah it's just funny to do no yeah. for sure man yeah for sure i even like even like with my girl like sometimes <laughs> what did she say the other day you know she you know she says like she, are very feminist things and stuff like that which is normal you know oh but like i think i know where you're going with this okay i love it <laughs> i love doing that shit yeah. to my girl too yeah, <laughs> yeah. but please finish your statement yeah 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 so, so she was like say you know we were talking about men and women or whatever and getting along or whatever and then she'll like the other day she goes, um, well, have have you considered like all the things that women have to go through, like pregnancy and, and having periods and stuff? And, uh, and there's way more than men. And I was like, well, have you considered that we have to deal with women? Like, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I find it hilarious. She doesn't laugh at all. Yeah, yeah. But course. she knows it's funny and she knows I'm messing around. But it's mm-hmm. just like I can't. You know, it's just funny. You know, yeah, it's funny as hell to to just, to just uh, pretend like you don't like women just because Bitches. it's like. <laughs> Yeah, or pretend hoes, you have am these I points. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, hoes, am I right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's just one of those things. Like I love, I and sometimes I'll stop myself and be like, "Well, I was gonna say something." She's like, "No, now you gotta say." Yeah, it. now like, you. Ah, yeah. All right, I'll say it. And it's still funny, mm-hmm. but you know, um, yeah, it's just funny to hate on people. Yeah, my girl, se- my girl's sensitive, so sometimes I'd be like, <laughs> "I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just let you have this one." Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I could just yeah. ruin, I could ruin brunch right, right. right now, but. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna right. just take this one. Dude. Yeah, it's just funny, man. I don't know yeah. why I don't know why that shit that shit like that is hilarious. Because I I don't I don't know. It's like I feel like there's so much real hate, and it's so funny to have fake hate. It's one of my favorite because things, it's, just bro. Like, it's just like it's just silly. It's just like what are you hating for? You know yep. what I mean? Like it's just so silly. To That's do. how I feel about like racism, bro. <laughs> right, like fake racism is hilarious. Bro. Yeah, fake and racism is great. It's because like real <laughs> racism is so like arbitrary. <laughs> Yeah, and like makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it just makes fun of how absurd it is. Right. That's all it is. Like, just saying shit. You know, <laughs> like, dude, I had to leave a group chat because yeah. like fools were like legit hating. <laughs> yeah, it got turned from funny to like yeah, reg- real like. And then, hatred. and then I came back a week later, and they were making jokes about how they were <laughs> a week ago. <laughs> and I'm like, this is hilarious. <laughs> it got so meta where they're making fun yeah. of themselves yeah. for like yeah, yeah. Sh- shitting for being like it was fucking hilarious. That's they were just so blaming funny. the Jews for everything. <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah. No? <laughs> they- Someone gets it. <laughs> but you see what I mean, yeah, bro? Right, like that right. shit is fucking right. hilarious. Exactly. Dog. You just say whatever. You yeah. just say it's just I think funny, the last man. one was the Jews made me gay. <laughs> and I was like, that is hilarious. That shit is fucking funny. You guys <laughs> want so me funny, back. Man. Yeah, yeah. You I'm want back, me back. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, man. No, it's a it's, it's one of those things. Uh, I it's just it's just so fun. So yeah, fun. yeah. Definitely. I always say this. I actually say this to my girl. We broke up for a little bit and um we like, you know, just started we were broken up for a while. Mm-hmm. So we tried to start like dating other people. Yeah. And she was telling me the story about this like dude that was just like mad fucking creepy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, she was like, and I, I didn't even like see it coming because he was just like, so like such a feminist and all this shit and blah blah blah. And I'm like, that's how you should have known. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Any feminist, bro. <laughs> any male feminist yeah, 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 is yeah. just a fucking creep. <laughs> I'm like, if yeah, you really yeah. want to, this is how you know someone actually like loves women. Yeah. <laughs> They sound like they hate women. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's hilarious. All my friends that are, like, in long-term relationships, happily married, (laughs) fucking just all this shit, once a week, they'll hit me up and be like, fuck, you know what this bitch just said, bro? (laughs) The bitches can't take accountability for nothing, huh? (laughs) And, like, that is someone who uh, loves women. Right. Right, because he fucking. I mean, yeah, uh, even like one. even like vice versa. Women hate men, right? And they love men. Yeah, facts. <laughs> like you know, straight women. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, 
Yeah, that's a, that's a big fact. You know, niggas ain't shit. All that, but right? They be, but then you right next, you cuddle up with one. At yep. The same, at the same time, exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, now you lying. Yeah. <laughs> You lying, bro. You lying. Yeah, yeah. You're taking them back. Yeah, <laughs> whatever facts. he did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're taking them back. Facts. Can't even talk too much <laughs> shit, bro. That's basically the right, right. that's the tempo of my relationship. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like I don't know yeah. if we're gonna make it, bro. <laughs> Next week, it's like gonna I'm gonna marry this girl, it. dog. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna make it. That's hilarious, man. Yeah. yeah. So you, you've been in a long term relationship now, huh? I have. Yeah. yeah how long have you been together? I think it's four years now. Nice. Yeah, I hope it's four years. Because if you watch, right, this, you know. right, rolling <laughs> pin to yeah, the fucking right, old right. school Tom and Jerry. Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, frying pan. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the top of your head is gonna be yeah. fucking flat, dude. Yeah, there's like one long the, knot the, on the top the of my poo? head. Dude. Yeah, yeah, long knot on the top of your head. <laughs> fucking crazy. That's hilarious, man. Yeah, it's been four years though, man. Yeah. Are you yeah. uh are you guys living together? We are. Yeah, nice. About a little over a year now. Oh wow! Yep, how's yep. um how's that been? How was the first day moving in versus today? What Ooh. has changed? What's um, what's the vibe? Well, I'm, I'm when I first moved in with her, I moved into her place for like six months after Word. we moved out the other crib, um, and then now we got a place in Culver City. It's really nice. That's that's been Let, cool. Let's get the address for the people <laughs> watching. Yeah, yeah, tell everybody where it's at. Um, but uh, yeah. It, it, I mean, only thing that's really I've noticed is um. She believe in shit everywhere. Ah. Just things strewn across the counter. Ah. Just everywhere. Can't you, even see the counter. Right. You just things. Like just It was like, like just things, bro. Is it the kitchen counter? All of the counters. If there's a all counter just, available. The, yeah, counter space. This <laughs> table, all of it. Yeah. She even be playing counter strike and shit. <laughs> leaving like that if on I the if I like 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 the other night I was brushing my hair. And there's like makeup and clothes and stuff on the counter. I'm brushing my hair. I put the brush down for two seconds. And I looked away, and then I I did not know it where the brush gone. was. I, the brush was gone. I couldn't find it. It's like, like that's my fuck? counter space, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think the counter just like took, like sucked it into the fucking counter. I think it's just, right. it, it just takes things in. Right. Yeah, but that's the only that's really the only thing I can say is that. Mm. And she's gonna hear this, but yeah, yeah. I, I didn't say be <laughs> negative. <laughs> You asked me what was different. I can't see things getting better. No, I'm uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah, that. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> no, no, no. But no, they, no think, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great, man. I uh, We got a dog, so that's cool. Do you feel like, um, like the relationship's a little more chill now because you guys are living together? It always felt pretty chill, to be honest. Word. I mean, to her credit, she I met her during a time when I was uh, uh, you know, just getting out of a really weird love triangle with two women. Uh yeah. Um, which I won't get into the details of that, but like, she, and, and she here just, they are now. Yeah, they're bring just, them on up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Stone Cold they, theme song. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. So it was really weird, and uh, it was like uh, not in the middle of it, but it was like the end of it. So mm-hmm. it was, everything was kind of weird. Um, yeah. And I was still staying at the you know old, my old place and um kind of seeing them sometimes, and uh, so I was a little weird. Yeah. And then um, but she like was very patient. I, I told her everything right. was going on, like. Like it, it, honestly, the fact that she was so chill about how I was, things were, you know, happening back then was yeah. kind of like, oh, she really likes me. You know what I mean? That's like, actually, it's not, and it told me how she was going to be as a person when we got together. You know what I mean? Word. Like it was like she, we can talk through anything, work through anything, and if you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, yeah, she's not gonna, she's gonna be reasonable about it. You right, know? right, and that's right. Been, and that, that. and that was really what kind of you know. And not to not to say that me putting her through bullshit is what me got me to like her, but you know what I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. But you know, yo, I saw a tweet <laughs> one time. It's like, man, you, this is how you know men ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Most fools be like, why'd you stay with her? It's like, man, she she was stuck with yeah, me. Yeah, even she held it down when I was <laughs> fucking around. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I was put that woman through hell, shit. dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. She stayed. <laughs> she stayed with me. Yeah. No, but like. You know, they, you know, it, it, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really grateful for her to be honest. Is that very, understanding? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So she's very, it, things has been chill, you know. Um, yeah. She's like my best friend, you know. That's what's up. So, um, which is why I feel like I can give her shit on this podcast. She's going to be so mad when she hears me talking oh, about the yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. God she, damn. Her and Joe Rogan are going to be upset as hell. How, how far in are we in? Like <laughs> I don't 20 even minutes? know. She bro. ain't going to make it this far, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going to make it this she far. She's going to see the one clip on Instagram that you post. Yeah, and yeah, like, exactly. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's why I don't even worry about marketing. <laughs> I'm not even worried about Joe Rogan right now. I've said Joe Rogan 17 times now, I think. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> 
contractually, if you say it one more time, bro, <laughs> they, they I have, have to, to kick you off the mothership, of the I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think if I say if I say his name again, he's gonna pop up and be like, You come to the Facts. mothership. I'm like, oh hell yeah. You gotta look in the in the mirror, dude. <laughs> say it two more times. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Jamie's gonna Honestly, pop up. I really hope that he watches this. <laughs> Honestly, bro, me too, motherfucker. <laughs> I hope he watches this shit too, dog. Shit. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Oh, do man. me a favor. Have you bro. been? Have you been to Austin? Have you been to Austin, Texas? Once all? last year. Did uh, you go to? Did you go to Mothership? I went. I was there the week that it opened. So like the last day oh, I was fire. there. Oh, it opened no, the last day. Yeah, so I couldn't. Damn. I missed Kill Tony. Damn. The first Kill Tony. Damn, man. Yeah. Wow. But it's okay. Yeah, I I've been meaning to go out there, man. I, it really seems like a cool place. Everyone like everyone says that he's like doing really great shit out there. Right. That's fucking dope. Right. Um, part of me is just like. Kind of like about, you know, everybody doing stand up now. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to go fucking Austin. Right, Everyone's in right. Austin, but, yeah, yeah. But like, nah. Like, yeah, the it scene seems is popping. Like I heard a pretty fun place to go. Yeah, just yeah. in general, I think I'm over LA, dog. Mm, Been really? here my whole life. Really? Yeah, kind of just over it. Do you think? You, would you think you would move to Austin? Fuck no. I'm not moving to. It's to, too hot. You're right. it's too I'm not hot. moving to the the L. A. That fools. Like, <laughs> yeah, the new L. A. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, fools yeah. couldn't cut it out here, so they're going to all the yeah. people that you wish left here that finally did. They're in Austin. Yeah, that yeah, fool yeah. that you hated at the comedy store. He's in Austin now, so he can stay there and he can get his spots. He can do Kill Tony. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna stay here with old Hollywood, yeah, or yeah, get the yeah. fuck out, or get out of here. Yeah, and I, like I consider, race horses and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I considered buying a house in Austin. Really? Yeah, they're kind of cheap out there. Yeah, facts. I considered buying one and maybe like renting it, and then like going out there and staying when I do comedy and shit. You have like six months to get a house in Austin <laughs> before it just there's no point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like right. that's what happened right. in Denver. Yeah. Like Denver was so nice. Yeah, and it was like one of those places that you lived was, in like, Denver. No, I, oh. I used to go there a lot. Oh, I remember I, you were going there a lot. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I just fucking love it out there. Yeah. And um, what do you call it? I was I was like looking into, like I, I would ask oh, I people around, like, there. yo, uh-huh. so like, what's, what uh, would you pay a mm-hmm. would you pay a month here and whatever? Yeah. And uh, they say like, yeah, prices just went crazy high as soon as like weed got anytime. Look, anytime weed gets legalized <laughs> somewhere, yeah, yeah, rent is about to go crazy. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I, and yeah. when I was there uh, in Austin last year, uh, they were working on it. Mm. So they got all the, like, the wannabe weed. <laughs> right, CBD, right. Yeah. Delta, whatever the fuck, yeah. eight or whatever. Is um, it legal there now? No, but they're working okay, on gotcha. it. Okay, gotcha. You're still doing it. Gotcha. It's for sure going to, oh, my God. Once that shit gets legalized, bro. Oh, my God. Dude, the power of Joe Rogan is crazy. Bro. Right. 50 <laughs> mil for a year, dude. going to appear in this room, bro. One more time, drop his name. He's gonna appear. In I know facts. You need to stop. The bro. ghost. <laughs> I'm gonna owe that fool so much money. <laughs> so much your money. pants off. Yeah, bro. facts. This is my this is my podcast, bro. This is going on your channel. Facts. <laughs> right. No, I'm, no. I'm post this on your shit. <laughs> Fuck that. But it does seem like a you know what I mean. It seems like a you know Joe Rogan goes there and suddenly weed's becoming legal. Yeah, it's on its way. Coincidence? I think not. No. I feel like. It's, like, like, if, that's a big it's thing. like if Snoop Dogg moved to Boston. <laughs> hey, right, you're right, exactly. exactly. It's just that, that's it. We gotta make, we gotta change some rules. Out that's here. the whole thing. We want to keep Snoop Dogg, don't we? We want him to stay here. You want Snoop Dogg to stay or not? You yeah, know what I mean? like, exactly. You gotta yeah, yeah. some weed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe a little recreational. Maybe, yeah, let's say maybe there. do some DMT. Yeah. Some DMT in there. Jorgen is staying for life. Yeah, <laughs> that's the case. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. But, yeah, man. Uh, I'm really, I'm really happy for you, man. It seems like everything's uh, kind of falling in place for you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank yeah, you. I, I hope so. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. No, it, I mean, yeah. from the outside looking in, yeah. who knows? You might be addicted to crack, but from what I see, <laughs> from what I see online, yeah. bro, you're doing good. <laughs> Thank you, man. I yeah. appreciate that for real. Yeah. I have right. one last question before we get out of sure. here. Sure. Um, because, you know, we've worked on teams before. Mm-hmm. You know, a bonded by failure. Right. I will always follow you around. <laughs> right. right. And ruin your fucking ruin your career. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The amount of times that our careers probably could have been ruined at this point. Right. But things like we've said or done on like on, on like YouTube and shit. Yeah. Is yeah. Probably in numerous. Right. Like, I'm not even worried about stuff I said. I'll be today. I'll be famous for six months. I'm not, I'm not even kind of worried about things I say here today. Yeah. But things you said before, I've been like, I don't know. If, right. 
Right. I thought that was a good topic. And I will say it wasn't us most of the time. It would usually be other people that would bring us in. And just us not overtly not co-signing it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We'd be like, oh, all right. We're doing all right. Okay, that's yes. like, conversation's going, I guess. <laughs> you know? And you can't be like, hey, that's not cool. That's why I, that's why I like the... Like for the Pink House podcast, yeah. we were both on the opposite side, <laughs> yeah, like away from the danger, <laughs> yeah. out of the splash zone, dude. Yeah, man. You gotta cut yeah. to us, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt your question. Though. But uh, <laughs> no, no. So we've worked on a lot of teams together. You know, been on different things. Um, yeah. But it seems like you got, like you got yourself a nice, solid team. You know, like you got your friends that you work with, and like, uh, you know, you got run the fools mm-hmm. and then like you got like other comics you yeah know, you worked other shows um, yeah i just want to know like how do you like was that that's just like very organic huh you just hey i like to do this you like yeah, to do that. yeah or is it just like hey you're available wednesday <laughs> it depends man i mean like uh like yeah i became friends with tommy was literally like i saw tommy and kyle running a show at Bar Lubish in Hollywood, and then I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, I, I'd already known them from a couple shows, and I was like, I'm just gonna pull up and make friends with these dudes. Yeah. I, literally, I literally was like, I'm just gonna become friends with these guys, and I just pulled up every, it was like, it was late at night on Thursdays, it was like almost midnight every show, every time they had the show. Right. Um, so I will just pull up after shows or whenever I was free, and then eventually, you know, Tommy would always be playing the piano, and then I, you know, went and talked to him, I was like, yo, man, I do music too, like, let's make some music together, and that's Same. how that happened. And then me and Kyle came real close, and we all started producing a show together. And I think it just kind of grows, you know what I mean? And right. I think, uh, you know, then being friends with, like, Max Castillo, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's also been a thing. And that was also kind of crazy because I met him. I had known about his show, Scoopy Boopties, from before, but I didn't know who he was on the ran or who he was. Really. Right. And I think we started, I, followed, I started following him randomly because I liked his, like, music videos. And then he followed me back, and then he came to Vino one day, and he was just watching the show. And then I, like, did some crowd work on him, didn't know who he was. And that kind of, like, we became friends, and, like, I don't know, it just all kind of grows naturally, for real, right. you know? Um, I met Ray Loud doing Dungeons and Dragons with Max and Kyle and Tommy, so it's like, you know what I mean? Like, like playing the playing game. Playing the game Dungeons and Dragons, bro. First time you I ever played the game. You do not strike me as a, a D&D ass fool. I am now, bro. I am the fuck now. Yeah. I wasn't before that. Do you I play, play it like Key Peele? Like, have you seen <laughs> that sketch? How do they do it? Where he's like... Is that one fool? He's like, I'm Kanye. Like, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a giant. I'm Kanye. <laughs> no, it's like, actually it's it's. You going on a quest? Quest, a quest for bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've done a few. Th- I, I have like a a, a do rag. That's my character has a do rag. Like okay. it has powers. Um, it, there are some rules to it, so it's it's kind of hard to go that far. But I have tried. I've definitely tried to be like, you know. I'll play it, but I'm not gonna be. Yeah. Gay about it. <laughs> I've definitely tried. Like I'm like my my guy is like a, a big warrior with with a do rag. Okay. And um, but anyways, that's what's up. Yeah, I like me. I like it. It's fun. All right. That's how I met you know Ray and you know I think it all just happened to be working with people that like. I mean, I I mean, I, it's kind of fortunate how you get. Yeah, different friends. It's like you know, I happen to, yeah, happen to get friends who are happen to be work work with friends that have their own followings. You know yeah. what I mean? Like have, yeah, yeah. have accomplished things for themselves. And oh, uh, fucking nice. It, it is. It really is. You don't gotta be like yeah. fucking. Yeah, you don't feel like you gotta carry or anyone. Yeah. You know? Oh my god. Um, they've all accomplished things. You know, and and, all, and and you know, some of us aren't as haven't accomplished as many things as we want to have accomplished in others, but. Um, everyone's working. Everyone's trying to get things done. So that's beautiful. Um, that's really all it takes is everyone who's right. just willing to work to just, get stuff just done. Pull your weight. Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. My last question is like, because because I always my dream. I feel like every artist's dream is to kind of do it like the Adam Sandler way. Yeah, I mean that's the really the only way to do it. Yeah, just bring in all the people that you can along with you. What's that, what's that saying? They say, if you want to go fast, go by yourself. If you want to go far, go together. Ooh, you know what I mean? So it's like everyone relies on the community. Even if it's not like, you know what I mean? Because I can, the, the people I can name are in, are numerous at this point. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like Niles Absent, like, like Leonard, you know, like, you know, all these people that we're all friends with. You it's know like I mean? that giant Avengers poster. Yeah, exactly. It's like, but it's, then there's like the Fantastic Four. <laughs> right. That. There's little groups inside yeah. of that. Exactly. It's exactly like that. Like everyone... Is on the same page. Everyone's still working. Everyone's doing their thing. Um, but sometimes you team up. Sometimes you, you know, have right. a collab. You know. Right. Um, I was gonna ask. Do you, do you like, um, do projects with like uh, that in mind, of 
Um, like, cause, cause for me, I always like, I always have an idea of who I want to do mm. what. Mm-hmm. So when you're like working on a project or or maybe trying to do a show, like yeah. put a show on, like, do you try to curate it for who, for people in mind, or do you just like whoever? Yeah, honestly, it, it depends on what it is. Because sometimes I'll have an idea and be like, "Oh, this would be perfect for this person to do," mm-hmm. and then sometimes they're not available, and I'm like, "Well, let's ask the other person to do it if they want to do it." Yeah, right, do right, it, right. You know what I mean? Um, uh, yeah, I think it just depends. Like the the thing that me and Kyle do the most are the sports videos, like guys gotcha. that guys that uh, only understand things in sports terms. Yeah, that's okay. And that was kind of we were just kind of coming up with stuff. We were literally like, let's just sit down and shoot things because we had shot the bat a couple basketball ones with, with Tommy. Right. And then she was just like, yo, we were hanging out. We were just like, let's just try to think of something that's that's a good idea. Um, and then when we went Ray, Ray was just like hit me up and was like, yo, I have an idea for an anime sketch if you want to do it. And I was like, and and this is the first one I'm saying this on camera some juicy stuff yeah. I had never watched anime before when I did that video with Ray I had never watched any anime I have all these gentlemen <laughs> we got we got <laughs> I have all Bring these the anime, anime police yeah, yeah I have all these anime followers then Joe Rogan bunch of white like, like, oh shit yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no I uh, yeah I hadn't watched any of it and like all these anime followers now and then now I've been watching it and I'm like okay now you have to live your rap. Yeah, exactly. Dog, I used to do that with rapping, exactly. dog. Yeah, yeah. I would rap about yeah. doing crazy shit, and then I would have to go do crazy shit so people don't think I'm a liar. Right, right, right. Exactly, man. That's how exactly how I felt, because I was like, all these anime followers, like a thousand anime followers, I'm like, all right, they're going to want to see more of this at some point, so right. I'm going to have to get research done. Right. You know? But I just knew enough where I was just like, Ray, I'm down to, you know, I told Ray, I was like, I'm down to, I have never watched it, but I'm down to write something. I, I have no enough to write and, and perform it, so. Right. Um, but it all just happens to work out. I there, can't right? do anime anymore. It's just too yeah. much of a commitment, dog. It's too it many fucking lot, episodes. It is a lot. It's a lifestyle. I it understand really why is. people get so into it. Cause it's <laughs> yeah. like, in order to finish it, <laughs> you gotta it's really like a 10-year commitment. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's pretty nuts. That's why I started with Attack on Titan, because it's really short. Yeah. And even then, it's long. <laughs> it I, I can't do it. I watch the same anime over and over. <laughs> It's like yeah. 12 episodes. Yeah. And I just watched those 12 episodes because I can't do anything else. Samurai Champion, that's my hey, shit. Turn up. But uh, what do you call it? Yeah, that's all I can watch. Yeah. I can't even do Cowboy Bebop, which is the same <laughs> the same guy. But that, epi- that shit is like 100 <laughs> episodes. Like, that's I got, crazy. I got four. I can do four. <laughs> can do and four. after that, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, the answer your question, yeah, it all just depends, man. Sometimes I have an idea for someone to do something with somebody and then others I'm just like, Maybe we'll see what happens when we meet up and work on something. Right. But it all just comes down to just meeting up and working on ideas. That's that's, that's pretty dope. Yeah. 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 I like that. Man. Very happy. Thank you. Glad. Uh, I'm glad the failures didn't fucking uh, <laughs> discourage you. Dog. Oh, there's gonna be yeah. many more. Yeah. There's gonna be so many more. I, yeah. You know, but uh, I'm ready for it. Same. You know. I feel like not to get too inside of baseball. Okay. I feel like. Pink House breaking up mm-hmm. is like uh, it's like Thor. <laughs> There's yeah. no more like Valhalla. They're just like everyone's just like scattered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. fools just turned to <laughs> us. Some fools became Avengers. Right, you know right. What I mean, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just it's really fun. when stuff like that happens. Like it feels like you're running away from like a burning building. Yeah, and, true, true. And then I agree. Not, no offense. I mean, I, I. I well, posted this on my story before, and I think that a couple people had mentioned it to me. You know, the new Pink House, and I think DC had mentioned it, you mentioned it to me recently. That I literally, I literally posted on my story. I was like, I mean, things have been better since the, you know, yeah, things kind of. I I stopped I, I I stopped working with that one group. Sometimes it's too many cooks in the kitchen. Sometimes it's too many cooks in the kitchen. That was a lesson. That was the main lesson. And I will say that the, that Pink House built a huge network. Um, and I think that's a network that. I still have kind of. Yeah. I don't know if it all exists in in a big sense, but like, you know, it created a big network and it was something that was actually special for a period of time. It's like that Avengers painting. Again. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, bro. There's like the pink house is the Fantastic Four in that big Avengers. Right. Yes. Painting, you know? Yeah. Man. Or more like the X Men. <laughs> you're right, you're right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was it was special for like a for a for a five year span for that for a long that was how long I was in it. Um and you know I'm grateful for it. It's that fucking green screen. 
It's that fucking green screen. If Fool didn't argue about the fucking green screen right now, oh, like, yeah. we'd yeah, be green screen chilling in, in like Maseratis green. right now. Bro. bro, it was so much worse than the green screen. It was bro. COVID. That was the tip of the iceberg. The green screen was the tip of the iceberg. Right. Bro. It was so much worse. For me. For you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was I love, that fucking I love, green screen, dog. I love that for you. It was just the one thing. It was just like, <laughs> Everything else is cool. We could have figured it out, bro. But motherfuckers would not budge <laughs> on that goddamn green screen, dog. That's so funny, man. That's so funny. We got have Patreon money right now. I do miss that last studio. That studio that was, was pretty cool. Fire, bro. It was pretty cool. Definitely, it was like giving children keys to a car. <laughs> yeah. It, it yeah. was too yeah. nice for what we, what we were using it for. <laughs> it's not true. It was too fucking nice. So we, were, we were over here just like smoking backwards. <laughs> Every day in there. <laughs> if we had just not smoked backwards for two weeks, <laughs> I think maybe two albums got finished in that the whole in that whole right. time we had it. Right. I think it maybe like DC's album. Motherfuckers were falling asleep. <laughs> they were spending the night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. It was a special time. It was COVID. It was COVID. He's just talking about the COVID. It was COVID. Yeah. What can yeah, you do? Man. Yeah, right, right. Other than smoke backwards every single day. <laughs> Fools would put like a whole eighth in the fucking backwood. And, and just then be like, yo, we're low on rent this month. What's up? <laughs> yeah, who's donating? Who's paying for rent? <laughs> the whole eighth, darn. The whole eighth. He just sold that. He just sort of sold it. He'd be fine. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Uh, Had to end it with at least a little bit of memory lane. Bro, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, was, yeah. That was a good time. It was man. good times, man. Yeah, and time. this was a good time as well. Yes, it was. Yeah. Before we get out of here, my friend, for all 17 people watching right now. <laughs> no, bro, bro, Joe Rogan's going to watch this, bro. Facts. facts. He's going to watch this. This is Eight Mile, bro. This is the one chance. He's gonna hate me after he sees this, too. That's good. Maybe he'll like me. Maybe you like this guy's got moxie. You know what? You're higher. I respect him. (laughs) So you're higher. I only said one bad thing about him, by the way. And it was funny. And it was a joke. It was a joke. Don't fucking rear naked choke hold this (laughs) when you see Yo, by the way, he has massive hands. Yeah. Massive hands. When I shook hands with him, I was like, dog, your hands are too big for us to all Fucking baseball. Game. He's literally built like Wolverine for real, for real bro. He's short, but he's like, yeah. he's like, yeah, he's like fucking, like, I'm talking about like comic Wolverine, not Hugh Jackman. Oh, okay, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. Uh, the comic accurate Wolverine is how right. Joe is built, but bald. You know? His hands are massive. I'm not going to go there, because I don't want to get rear naked chokeholded right now, but just, just know... <laughs> I got a banger. <laughs> I got a banger. Yo, that's so funny. That's so funny, bro. I, I want Jordan to watch this. I need this. I need this episode to blow up. Yeah, so he can hit me up and be like, so what's the banger? <laughs> so what's... Hmm? Let me hear the banger. What's so fucking what's funny? What's the heat that you got, you buddy? Got it, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, oh, man. honestly, bro. If he wa- if he watched this and hated me for the rest of my career, but this episode went crazy, I would be okay with that. I appreciate that. I would, I would be worth it. I appreciate. I'll never give a go to Austin, Texas, in my life again. Stay the fuck out. Stay the fuck out of Austin, Texas. I gotta check in with him now. He's like a yeah, gangster now. Right. He's like Jay Prince. He's like Swifty Blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta check in when I go into the hood. Mm-hmm. Oh, I heard you was in Austin, yeah. You didn't say what's you didn't say he was coming. Mm-hmm. Heard you heard you were walking down Sixth Street without <laughs> my fucking uh without my permission. Oh man, shout out Joe Rogan, man. Yeah, shout out. Doing to, thing, bro. Yeah, hey, thanks for being a good sport. Thanks for being a good sport. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope. We don't know. Bro. We don't know. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, man. So uh let the people know. Where can they find you, man? Shit, man. Find me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, TikTok at the real Aaron Mon. I think my my YouTube is Aaron Monte Comedian. Well, you know, just look up Aaron Monte. And you'll you can catch it. me uh, on Instagram at yeah. the fake Aaron Monte. <laughs> I'll be tanking this man's career for him. Oh, my just posting real controversial <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering right now which clip you're even gonna choose for to put up because I don't think any of them are gonna go well. This is this is me. what I uh, this is what I say. To the other podcast I do, uh-huh. he who edits controls the editor. <laughs> <dog. laughs>
It's true. It's so true, bro. He who edits the pod, That'd be nice to meet these next couple of weeks, motherfucker. <laughs> It pissed so me off, dog. I'm using all the Sharumi parts. <laughs> <laughs> Just a compilation of like this and this. I'll even throw in a few extra words. Yeah, you guys are a bitch. Damn. And I'm doing a reaction. Whoa. That's so funny. <laughs> You know what? I was gonna die. Short ass moment. Oh, oh shit. shit! You said that. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Pointing at you. <laughs> you said that. That's nuts. I I wasn't gonna say his name anymore after the first joke, and then after I said it the second time on accident, I was like, well, now I gotta lean in. I'm not gonna just keep saying that. Yeah. So whatever you use, it'll be fine. Cool. If you use it, if you don't use it. And speaking of using clips, uh, if you're watching this right now on uh, Apple and Spotify and you want to see uh, our friend's beautiful face over here, you can catch us on YouTube at Liu Kang Show. And uh, same on Instagram. If you want to watch funnier, shorter, faster clips, you know, yeah. versions of this show, you can catch the clips on at Liu Kang Show on Instagram. Yep. Uh, and if you like the song that's playing right now, Donnie Narco Me. Hell yeah. Peace, everybody. Thank you.